Hello and welcome to Cardiff University. Hello and welcome to this open day presentation for the physiotherapy program at Cardiff University. My name is Stephen Dando. I'm one of the admissions tutors on the program and I'm also a physiotherapy lecturer. First thing I'd like to do is draw your attention to our Twitter address, which you can see on the bottom left hand corner of your screen. Please follow us here for the latest news and developments going on the programme. Also, if you have any queries regarding your entry criteria, as well as the admissions process, please feel free to send us an email. You can see the email address there as well. So the first thing I'd like to do is just talk briefly about the facilities that are available to our physiotherapy students at Cardiff University. The first of which is the library. So this is a very newly developed resource which has a designated section for our physiotherapy students where they can find all of the recommended reading, their self-study areas, as well as rooms that students can book out for group tasks. We also have the swimming pool and the sports hall on site that we use to teach and educate our students around hydrotherapy as well as exercise classes and balance classes. These are really fun, engaging sessions where the students use not only the environment but also the equipment available to explore and to learn the different ways in which we approach treatment sessions within these environments. The physiotherapy programme at Cardiff University is accredited by the Chartered Society of Physiotherapy. This is the professional and educational body for physios and student physios in the United Kingdom. Their website is an excellent resource for information around the skills needed to be a physio, as well as the type of work we do and the areas in which we work. And if you're thinking of becoming a physiotherapist, then I'd strongly recommend you go and have a look at their website. Also, you have the eligibility to apply for HCPC reg registration upon qualification. So this is the Health and Care Professional Council. They set the standards for education, training and also practice that is required for the protected and professional title of physiotherapist. Our philosophy at Cardiff University is to create an environment of problem solving, research and reflection. So what that means is students will be working on clinical case studies to help develop their reasoning skills, to understand the different approaches to physio. And we help to create and stimulate this environment through shared learning and interprofessional education, whereby students study with other students who are um, working on different uh, allied healthcare professional courses. We also have the simulation suite, which is mocked up to mirror a clinical setting. So they get to apply their knowledge within these very real world settings, preparing them not only for placement, but also for professional practice. Within each of the three years of study, there are leadership opportunities embedded into the program. So due to the practical nature of the program, we are promoting discussion, engagement and feedback. Students work in small groups on problem solving clinical scenarios. They're encouraged to take responsibility for feeding back their ideas to the whole group. And within each module, there are opportunities for students to develop their presentation skills, their interpersonal skills, and to take responsibility for their own learning, but also to help facilitate learning of their peers through shared learning experiences. This is particularly true of the interdisciplinary modules, whereby students are working on group tasks with other healthcare students to very much mirror the way in which the professions work in a clinical setting. We also have graduates who embrace lifelong learning and one of the ways in which we encourage that is the need to incorporate research and evidence throughout the program. So students are introduced to healthcare guidelines, they learn the importance of evidence-based clinical reasoning, they get an opportunity to explore this in more detail in their third year, where they begin to think about 
designing and developing their own dissertation projects. This is something they do in collaboration with the staff as well as other students. And then they go on and undertake this research in their third year. And some of these projects are of very high quality, so much so that students have the opportunity to present their work at conferences. And there's a recent couple of very recent examples of this that you can see for yourself. If you go onto Twitter and you search for the hashtag PTTC20, then there's couple of very fine examples of our students' work uh, very recently have got the opportunity to promote and discuss that work through the medium of Twitter. I just want to talk about the teaching structure and the thing I want to highlight here really is the variety of teaching and the different ways uh, in, in which we deliver the content of the program. So in the first year, we have four 30 credit modules where we look at anatomy, physiology, and then some practical skills. And then we give our students a wider understanding of physiotherapy in a, in a wider context of health and society. So we try here to link the physiology, so an understanding of the structures of the human body to the way in which we move. And then we start to think about what happens if some of those systems go wrong? How can we assess that? And then ultimately, how can we treat it? We then move on to think about in year two, very specific diseases and pathologies, how we can assess them specifically and diagnose them. And then how can we design our treatment programs to help meet some of the issues that arise as a consequence. So you can see here in the second year, this is where we introduce our assessed clinical placements. So we don't send our students out for assessed clinical placements until they're at the stage whereby they've been taught sufficient knowledge and skills so that they can immediately start to engage with patients. We also then in year three start to introduce the research project, you can see the 40 credit uh, module there, which is the research project that I spoke about earlier. And you can see here again, there's clinical placement joined on top of that as well. So there's a great variety throughout. And then underpinning all three years is the personal professional development module, whereby you're working with other healthcare professional students, uh, in groups working collaboratively to develop those tasks as I described earlier. So some of the examples of teaching are illustrated on this side. So you can see here students in physiology outlining the different structures of the muscles or so their location within the trunk as well as helping them then understand what these muscles do and how they work to produce different movements. This is something that they then take to explore in a practical nature, which you can see here, how we can design exercises to help activate all of these different muscles. And you can see quite nicely the students working in small groups here, working on different problems. And then what they'll ultimately do is feed that back to the rest of the group. They're using the skeletons as well as these pipe cleaners to help deepen their understanding of the different nerve structures within the body. And one of the more recent developments in terms of technology that the students are taking advantage of for their learning is that all of the lectures are recorded. So all of our lectures get downloaded onto a central hub, which the students are able to access at a later date and they can rewatch those lectures or they can just listen to them if they like, or they can do both whilst um, taking in the, the slides, the PowerPoint presentations themselves. So the majority of the practical teaching takes place in settings such as this, which is illustrated in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. So you have the plinths here where students work in small groups on different problem based clinical scenarios. So one of the important things that it's important what that we need to discuss is the informed study project. So this is uh, something we created so that students are able to make a fully informed decision on whether physiotherapy is the right profession for them. The project sets out the physical, mental requirements that 
is required for learning physiotherapy, both within a university setting and when out on placement. And this is something that uh, if you want more information on, then you can have a look at this link, which is detailed here. Also, as a result of gaining entry to the programme, then you need to go through uh, occupational health questionnaire as well as a DBS check. I just want to talk about the different types of assessment that we incorporate into the programme. So you can see here we have in the first year written assignments as well as written exams, group presentations and practical exams. And you can see that that variety of assessment is reflected throughout years two and three. So we're really trying to give students an opportunity to showcase their knowledge and their skills through different mediums of assessment. So this slide was something I developed to help give people an understanding of what a day in the life of a physiotherapy student is like. So very often we get questions as to what is the normal timetable for students for studying physiotherapy and this would be a typical representation of that. So normally we would start the day with an hour's lecture introducing the students to a particular topic that we will then go on and explore throughout the course of the day in greater detail through practical sessions as well as designated self-study. So it's very often the case that students will start at nine o'clock and then they will remain within the university until four o'clock but during that time they'll have different opportunities to explore the topic whether that be through self-study or practical or tutorials. Just want to talk about clinical placements. So we're very lucky in Wales that we have a Cardiff University physiotherapy program has a great variety of placements to take advantage of. So the core areas of musculoskeletal practice, neurological uh, rehabilitation, respiratory and community are something that all students will get the opportunity to experience. That then leaves further opportunity for you to specialise in particular areas that are of interest to you. So again, we're very fortunate there that we have links with uh, professional sports teams, should you wish to explore that area of physiotherapy. We have links to cancer rehabilitation, uh, amputee rehabilitation, military rehab. So there's lots of different areas within Wales that we have established links with that we can then enable our students to go and experience a four-week placement working in those particular areas. That's something that not all universities are able to provide, but it's something we've worked hard with in partnership with um, local health boards as well as charitable organisations to enable our students to get those opportunities. So that's a real positive uh, that we can, we can offer our students. Just want to talk about the application process. So there's a three-step screening process to this, whereby we look initially at the academic qualifications. We then read your personal statement, and then we start to think about how you um, performed at interview. So we'll go through that in a little bit more detail now. If you do at any point wish to defer your application, then that certainly doesn't count against you. Just please identify this initially uh, on your application. So in terms of the academic requirements, all students are required to have seven GCSEs between A star to C, and that must be inclusive of maths, English and a science. And then in terms of UCAS tariff points, we require our students to meet 136 points. And that will be a typical offer of two A's and a B. OK, but biology is the key subject and that's often something that people email to query. That is one of the things we need to ensure that all of our um, entrants have is, is biology as their key subject. And if you are studying something such as a B tech or a access course, then please email us so that we can have a little look at that and just check that the quantity of biology is sufficient uh, for you to gain entry. So some of the non-academic things that we look for is that our students have an understanding of what physiotherapy is. 
not just very specifically, but also the general application of physio. It's such a, a wide scope of practice that we have as physiotherapists. We work in lots of different areas with a whole host of different people, and we'd like our students to have an understanding and appreciation of that. We need to check that our students are caring and committed people, and we do that through the process uh, of the interview. But also they have an understanding that physios work as part of a team and they have effective communication skills. A willingness to accept responsibility is something that we also uh, need to take account of and they have a broad spectrum of interests as well as a knowledge of the course itself at Cardiff University. So all applicants must undergo an uh, interview procedure and our interviews are in a mini, multiple mini interview structure whereby we have six different stations, each of which is uh, manned by uh, an individual, either member of staff, a student or a physio from uh, one of our partner uh, university health boards. And the interviews are held in the third week of December and the third week of February each year. There's lots of opportunities to go and experience placements abroad when studying here. So we have a growing and developing international board whereby we have links throughout the globe with different hospitals whereby students can go and have a placement, a four week placement in a different part of the world. And that's something that our students are taking advantage of year in, year out. And the, the number of students that are doing this every year seems to be growing. So I'm sure it's something that will continue to be funded and will develop further. So if you have any questions around that specifically, then please feel free to email the International Mobility people and their address is located at the bottom of the screen there. So just want to finish up with talking about some of the fantastic opportunities our students have while studying physio at Cardiff. So the Cardiff Half Marathon is one of the biggest half marathons now in the whole of Europe. And our physiotherapy students are involved in providing post-race massage to the athletes. It's just a great experience for our students to get out and apply some of their skills to the general public uh, in a really sort of fun and engaging setting. We also provide physiotherapy for the Eisteddfod sporting um, games, which again is a similar opportunity for our students to go out and uh, practice their skills amongst the general public. Very recently, we had physiotherapy students join our teaching team uh, over in Malaysia, where they attended the World Sevens Touch Rugby competition, and they provided physiotherapy for that tournament for the Welsh athletes. So why physiotherapy at Cardiff? Well, hopefully I've covered some of the real positives and benefits of the program. But if you wish to go and do some further research yourself, then have a look at the complete university guide where the program comes in fourth overall of all the programs in the UK, um, particularly high scores for Cardiff University's program on student satisfaction there, as well as the Times Good University Guide in the top three ranking universities within that particular guide. So I'd encourage you to go have a look at that as well as please attend um, some of the open days in the future and feel free to uh, contact us if you have any specific pro uh, questions about the programme. If you have any questions, please visit us here, healthcareadmissions at cardiff.acuk. Uh, thank you very much for um, listening to my presentation again. Look forward to hearing from you or seeing you in the not too distant future. Thank you very much.